this is the Traxxas TRX4M. And this is like the Land Rover Defender model. It's a 1 18th scale uh, crawler, RC crawler. So my friend Key Litho got this for me. Uh, he's super into these. He has the uh, Bronco and he got me this Land Rover. So this is like just the stock truck, just 100% stock. Um, the Land Rover is a bit more top heavy um, than the Bronco. Um, so I'm going to be doing some upgrades to this, uh, adding some weight to it to lower the center of gravity, new wheels, new tires, um, just to start. And then uh, we'll see. We'll see what I do from there. So I want to see uh, what this thing weighs as a stock vehicle. And it kind of barely fits on my scale. But uh, let's see if I can. I think maybe upside down it'll fit. So ah, there we go. Let's see if I put it on grams. So that's uh, 0.536 kilograms. I'm excited to get new wheels and tires for this. It's going to like really add some good weight. I bought uh, uh, brass wheels um, that are like solid, so they're going to be a lot more weight to it. Um, uh, but they're not going to come for like a week. So. Um, in the meantime, the first thing I got from Enjora is uh, a little trailer hitch. I actually have two of them, so I'm going to give one to Keylitho. Let me get this opened up. So it seems like I'm going to be on like Team Enjora because like everything I'm buying so far is coming from them. Uh, but they make a lot of good stuff. They make like every possible part you could think of for these. This thing looks pretty cool. I can't tell. Is it actually aluminum? I guess I think it is. It looks like it's like actually CNC milled aluminum and they've got their like logo on there. That's pretty cool. So these come with uh, like really ready to be upgraded, uh, which is kind of neat. Let's see if I can get this apart here. Come on. So on the back, there's actually already um, these sockets right here. I don't know if they're tapped, um, so I'm going to try it out. But it's already ready to uh, receive this. So I'll see what I can do. So I think the easiest thing to do is going to be to actually just take the rear bumper off. And there's a couple little tiny screws here, so I can just pull that bumper off. And luckily, uh, Traxxas gives you a little bag with some tools in it. So there's like two Allen wrenches in there and this, uh, uh, I don't know, lug nut wrench for taking like the wheels off and some of the other things. Um, so luckily they do that. So let me get that bumper off. And, and then also look at this, uh, the kit that comes with the, uh, the, the hitch. It's like the hitch uh, bar and it's got the, the, the ball. And then it also has like this towing hook too um, that'll attach to it. So the bumper comes off really easily with those two screws. And then, like I said, it's got these holes already here. And they really do not look tapped yet, but they seem to be just the perfect size for this screw, this machine screw to go in here. So um, I think they will just like kind of be self-tapping see and so it's gonna be yeah okay so that feels like it's gonna go go in just right so kind of let me see I'll get get both of them started here and then uh, then actually put the hitch on check it out this is pretty cool i think that the scaling of the hitch is like perfect maybe except for the like little nut on the bottom but um the ball hitch is perfect i really hope it's the right size i think i got the right size for the the trailer i ordered but um yeah it should uh it should work out i think that looks really cool
even without having a trailer it looks really cool on there so um i actually i didn't have like the right size driver um i've got one at my shop but unfortunately i don't have it with me today um but anyway i'll tighten that down another time but yeah looks really cool i'm glad i got that